games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team. Hey there, guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a completion guide video. Is I guess what we're going to call this kind of thing. Basically, I'm going to show you a bunch of players and basically a starting 11 and some other options to complete this team of the season so far, Machu, as quickly and easily as possible. So, if you don't know, this was added Monday with the Liga Nos team of the season coming out. And this card is achievable through just completing four objectives, which I'll show you through. So you're going to get two goals in two separate games, either on World Class Squad Battles or on Div Rivals using La Liga players that have at least 80 physical. You have to assist three separate games um, or get an assist in three separate games on at least World Class Squad Battles or again in Rivals using defenders. And then you've got to get three through balls. So in separate matches, get a through ball assist with a Liga NOS player and score a finesse goal in four separate rival matches with a French player. So I'm going to show you basically a bunch of players that can do all of these objectives or can complete a lot of these objectives at the same time. Um, and I'm going to show you a squad that you can put together for relatively cheap and a couple of other options in case a few players are a bit too pricey for it. Just so it's nice and easy for you and you can go into it knowing you've got a squad that will help you complete these nice and easily. Okay, so as you can see in front of me, I've got here a squad that will complete this relatively easily. And I will go through this, I will explain some of the pricing, some of the more expensive players and some options you can put in instead if you haven't got the budget. So let's just get straight into it and talk about why I've gone with some of these players. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the French players. The amount of French players here, you can see the entire right hand side of this team, plus the keeper, but let's not worry too much about him, and Mathieu in there, who by the way, obviously, for obvious reasons, completes like nearly every single objective. The only thing he's not going to do is the Liga Santander side of things, but he's going to complete pretty much everything that you can ask him to. But the reason I've put in people like Langley and Mendy is they're French, they're defenders, and they've got 80 plus physical. So they will complete a lot of these objectives at the same time. And if the game is going your way, you hopefully will have options on the bench to bring on to replace them if you need to move them further up the pitch to try and complete some of these objectives. I've gone with St. Maximin because he's a very, very good French player. He's very overpowered and he's pretty cheap. He's about 2,000 coins at the moment. And I can genuinely tell you he's a very, very good card. Something like a dead eye on him and he just plays out of his skin and he's a really, really usable player. I've gone with Amadou again, French, Liga Santander and 80 physicality. That's the only reason he's in there. He's not expensive. He is in there purely because he ticks a lot of the boxes that you need to do. This here is Scream Gamero. Now, Scream Gamero is about 30,000 coins. I think about 35,000 coins when I last checked. He's not budget, but he's not too expensive. And realistically, if you've got 30,000 coins, you are willing to part way with just for like the sake of a day to then sell him on as soon as you've done the objectives he needs. You're not going to lose much on tax. Worst case scenario, if you buy him for 35,000 coins, selling for 35,000 coins, you're losing one and a half K on tax. And you're making that back just by playing the games that he's going to go into. On the left hand side, you can see I've gone with a Porto or basically a Liganos team with Mathieu in there. So Porto and then a bunch of, um, or, and then Mathieu, I should say. But Tellez is going to be the only player here that's going to be particularly expensive. And that's because he's technically out of pack right now. And uh, he is... I mean, he, you can basically use any left back from the Liga NOS. He is going to be your best bet if you want to go with someone who's going to be, you know, a good viable defender that is going to get you um, assists because that's what you need from your Liga NOS players. You do need assists. What I'll show you very quickly is we'll have a look at some other options at left back. I know you can go with someone Grimaldo. Um, like Grimaldo is not going to be too expensive. He's going to be cheaper than Tellers, obviously, because Tellers' team of the season card is currently out. Grimaldo's already had his team of the season, so he won't be getting another one. I would say Grimaldo's your next best bet. Otherwise, this Borgia guy, just because he's a bit quicker. Defensively, he's not too incredible, but again, this is only short term. You're not needing these players for a long time. So if you're thinking, actually, Tellers is a bit pricey because he's out of um, packs, so the market's not going to be particularly saturated with gold Alex Tellers is right now, then I would go with Grimaldo or Borgia if you're really on a budget. But realistically, all you've got to try and do is whatever formation you would play in game, stick to that formation. But Morega or Nakajima hopefully will get you an assist of some sort. Plus, if you get an assist with Machu or, or Lengle or, or Mendy, Tellez or whoever you pick at left back, then you're completing multiple objectives at the same time. And that's kind of the point of this team. Realistically, with the squad that is currently on your screen, you could complete Mathieu in four games if you did all the objectives, one of each objective in each game. It is actually doable with this squad that is on the screen. I've got on the bench a couple of options. There's a couple of like, you know, team of the season cards and a couple of special cards that have been out recently that will, if you manage to get them in red picks or in your guaranteed team of the season pack or whatever, that again, help you complete it. Um, 
you've got the Eddie Militao PK. I'm fairly sure also, by the way, the 87 Militao does have 80 plus physical. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. But you've got Eddie Militao PK, you've got Carver Howe, you've got Jared Moreno and Mariano, all of which came out recently with the Liga Santander team of the season stuff. They've all got 80 plus physical, so we'll help you with all of the objectives. Obviously, Carver Howe PK and Eddie Militao are also defenders, so that is also helpful for that side of things. And TT again, is another player. If you cannot afford the Langley, get yeah, MT or well actually MTT is probably more expensive but MTT uh, Varane and Langley are all French centre-backs from the Liga Santander with 80 plus physical so they again tick a lot of boxes um, in regards to getting these French finesse goals Augustine's actually pretty overpowered I'm not gonna lie to you he's not a massively expensive card I don't think he's gonna cost you an arm and a leg you're looking at maybe about six seven hundred coins realistically he will help you do this objective he's not that bad he doesn't look incredible but I used him for a couple of objectives in some previous things and he was actually half decent so he's a very cheap option other options you've got um Ousmane Dembele you've got Ben Yedder they're other very good like French overpowered strikers I've also put Morello in there just as an example of I'm just gonna move him here so you can actually see his stats because of my webcam another example of a Liga Santander defender with 80 plus physical again just to help tick off these boxes worst case scenario if you did end up getting a rebate or however that said you can put him there and he won't be too much off cam because obviously he's got the uh, Colombian link as well. But this is just a very quick video just showing you basically a pretty much, in my opinion, perfect starting 11. Again, the one thing I would potentially change here is I would I would take out Alex Tellers on second thought and put in someone like Granado just because it's a bit more budget. Alex Tellers is going to be um, unsaturated in the market, so it's going to be expensive. The only pricey player in this realistically is Gamiro. And then if you do go for one of those um, three French centre-backs from the Liga Santander, then it is going to be a tad price on that but again if you're not going to keep these players you can sell them on afterwards and it will be beneficial for you um, just to get the objectives done as quickly as possible but again just to just to like verify it for you the two goals with la liga players with 80 physicality gamiro the screen version has got that 80 physicality so he will help you with that and if you can score a finesse goal with him you're completing that side of it as well um, the three balls with Liga Nos players, you've got that entire left hand side of your team and if you manage to get one of those then you can take someone like Morega off and bring on for example that team of the season moments Mariano if you've still got him or, or you know team of the season Moreno or someone that you may have packed from it to help you get the, um, the La Liga goals with the 80 plus physical. Try and have some La Liga strikers with 80 plus physical. Regular Benzema was someone I thought was going to be a really good shout but he doesn't have 80 plus physical. Regular Benzema is a no for this unless you're just trying to get the French goals. If you're trying to get the physical as well, regular Benzema is a no. Someone I thought of straight away, it doesn't help you at all. And again, you can do like people have been doing for a Julian. You can have some defensive options on the bench, some fullbacks and stuff, bring them on as wingers as soon as you start to look like you're dominating the game a bit and you just need that defensive assist. Move someone like Benjamin Mendy, um, not Benjamin Mendy, sorry, Furlan Mendy, or if you've got, like I said, a team of the season defender or you've done Rajulion, Bring them on at left mid, try and get an assist to them, and you should be able to complete these relatively quickly. But that was just a quick snappy video just to explain how you can do this Mathieu for very, very cheap uh, and very, very quickly. You can, like I said, technically do them in four games if you manage to complete all the objectives in those four. But for now, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Of course, if it has, then please do leave a like. If you want to see more videos at like this where I try and explain to you how you can do some of these objective players very quick, very easily, then let me know. Leave a like on the video and comment down below to say if there are other objective stuff you'd like to see me do them on. And now guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. If you're new, please do hit that subscribe button. On our way to uh, 5k, it would be amazing if we can get there anytime soon. But I'm going to say, I've been Tom, you guys have been awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Look after yourselves, and of course, wash your hands. See ya. Let's go. Uh, hurts the games and this how we do now it's time we team up, team up. check them online you might catch them playing fifa hey yeah you know we keep it live make sure to give a like and subscribe game a channel what's the best one keep it hella dope hella fresh huh yeah hurts the hurts the games tune in even told my grandma my sister and my best friend you might want to check them if you want to be entertained you already know the name check us out hurts the games hey make sure to give a like and subscribe